Okay, hello there, and welcome to part 70 of Chazzy Burger Plays Dominions 4. Now, where we left off, Gunther was starting to march towards the heathen undead. He's gonna cause some mighty pain to them, I'm telling you now. Um, I'm actually gonna change my mind about getting him there. I want him to just forge one more uh, bag of endless wine. It only costs five nature gems, you know, it's not too much. We are wasting a lot of our gems just now because they're doing it without hammers. Which obviously isn't too great, but uh, hopefully Dragan can find a nature site there. And I'm going to quickly check our research before. Ah, there we go. See, we could have wasted some of our uh, some of our precious re precious research there on construction, but instead I had the foresight to not do that. And we actually have an owl quill as well, so we're going to give that to Henrik. Now, what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be starting to forge things called lightless lanterns. Which, uh, if we go to the forge screen, we could start forging now, but I want people to have hammers first, because they do cost five, uh, fire gems. You know what? We make enough fire gems. We make 15 per month. Oh boy, yeah. Now we're going to start making, uh, some of those lightless lanterns now, because they give, uh, if I just go back and look at it. The owl quills give a bonus of, I think it's six research. These give a bonus of 12 per one, and they stack with each other. So you're going to notice our research is going to start skyrocketing massively than what it was before. Uh, all because we're going to have two things. The only problem is them, with them is you can get horror marked. Uh, which means horrible beings like uh, Cthulhu-esque monstrous beings will start coming out of the ether from the astral plane and start plaguing you and attacking you when you sleep. Which obviously isn't a very good thing. But, uh, you know what, they, they can tank it, they're strong guys. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to end this turn here, and see what happens. There we go. Okay, so we cast Gnome Lore, no magical sites are found. Augury, no sites. No new magical sites. Dragon has found a site in Wick. Increases death, gives one death gem per turn and one nature gem. I was wondering why this place didn't have a growth before. At least now we know. Now we know why that is. So we're going to keep sending him about. Uh, we're getting very unlucky with these um, these randoms. Okay, so we're going to give you a dwarven hammer, and you every month you are going to sit there, and you're going to make us an endless bag of wine. And uh, here's Gunther and his army marching through. We're going to give Algif one of these bags of endless wine and we're gonna give Joan one of these endless bags of wine there we go so now they're actually getting 150 extra supply it's not quite enough to uh, for all of the troops there's 180 troops there so it's not quite enough but they're doing well Gunther can't move because of his troops so we're gonna have to slow march through but 180 men all there all bearing the shields of Ulm fighting against the tyranny of these horrible, horrible undead. I think we're going to do mighty, mighty fine. So this guy who's forging lightless lanterns, we're going to give you a dwarven hammer. So now that's going to cost a lot less earth gems. I'm surprised we're making so little earth gems, to be honest. I would have thought we'd make more. Don't we make some from here? Yeah, we just five. It's only five gems per turn, I guess. But even so, I kind of expected better from us. So we're going to give our lightless lantern here to uh, Alaric. So he's gone up to a whopping 32 research per turn. He's probably going to get horror marked, but, eh, you know, shit happens. This is this is the kind of callousness you need. These people are here to make sure you succeed. There's no, you're not here to make sure they succeed. These are your pawns for world domination. Of course, we love the people of Ulm. The people of Ulm have always been nice to us. Uh, that is a lot of undead. Holy shit, 470 units. That scares me. I'm not even joking, that scares me slightly. They are mostly soulless, so they're very shit, but that's a lot of troops. We need Gunther's mega army to get over here as fast as he can. Um, what we might do as well, we might have Witterick start just making his way back as well so he can pick up some troops. Because he doesn't have one of these lances, there's not really any point of him being here. Uh, yeah, those troops are just firing, those guys are holding and attacking. Berthold is the one with the lance as well, so he's going to give them... I think he gives them some extra morale. 
No, okay, so he's just... Yeah, I would have thought that he would give them increased morale. But, oh well. This guy's actually ambidextrous, that's quite uh, cool. He could, he could hold two! Two of those lances at once, that'd be... That'd be interesting. But he's the only guy with an arm left, so we're not going to make him do that. Let's have a look. Are we recruiting... No, we're still not recruiting men here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel the smith there and a couple of the men so that we can build a temple over here from Wallen. Yep, he's going to build a temple. And uh, this way we'll be able to start making some more shams on this side of our empire and they can start searching the forests as well. So, yeah, he's researching. He's pretty much useless. He's going to move to that throne. Um, we're losing one nature gem per month, because we're actually making two now. It was a good job we searched that site. Uh, we're making two per month, but a bag of endless wine will cost three with a dwarven hammer. So we are losing some stuff per month. Which isn't completely what we want, but oh well. What are you going to do? We've used up all of our hammers and stuff like that. Forger. Forger, forger, forger. What do I want you to do? Star of Thraldom. False fetters. Uh, yeah, those are shackles. There's nothing really to take down undead. Staff Storms? No. Elemental Mastery? No. Gate Cleavers. We can start making Gate Cleavers. Yes. We're going to make a Gate Cleaver. So we're going to give them to our Smiths. Our Priest Smiths. Uh, sorry, not our Priest Smiths. Our Master Smiths. They're going to be holding the Gate crusher Crushers. And then we're going to be having our... Uh, priests holding summer swords, and that's when we're going to march. That's when we're going to march on Pangea. We are going to take Pangea back. Well, not take it back, but we are going to take Pangea. That's going to be our goal for this, uh... Maybe not this episode, but definitely the next episode. In the next two episodes, I want us to be able to take Pangea. Uh, and if we do it without summer swords, we do it without summer swords. I'm sure we'll survive. But, yeah. Uh, I think that's everything. We're going to reach conjuration level... 6 this turn. So that does give us uh, a shake knowledge so we can find all the magical sites in a given province. And it only cast, costs 25 astral gems and the forger can cast it. So what we might do is we might cast that somewhere. I really don't know where. Maybe in the marshlands? Because we have found an ancient temple and we found a tar pit but we haven't found anything else. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. What's our astral gem? It's only five per month, so that's like a tenth. We produce a... Oh, sorry. A, a f it costs five times as much of what we're making uh, per month to cast that once. So we're going to have to wait five turns each time. It's not too bad. We're not really using our astral gems for anything else anyway. So yeah, forging the gate. Cleavers. Everybody's moving. Everybody's having a good time. Yeah, we're going to end our turn here. AI's thinking, lovely. Cast Gnome Lore, nothing found. Augury, nothing found. Gnome Lore, nothing found. Umbro, nothing found. In fact, why don't I give a Thistle sla Staff to one of those shamans already and get them to cast Horror Specs? That would be a much better idea. Come on, Earth Random, nah. Okay, well, we can't always be lucky. Um, can you forge a Thistle Mace? No, you cannot. So we're going to have the Forger of Empires do that instead. You're going to make us Thistle Mace. We don't have enough gems, so you're going to transmute some. We need to make sure we have enough gems to just do that anyway, so let's see, convert a couple of nature gems. We're going to make 20, and you're going to forge us a Thistle Mace. And over here, everybody's having a good time while you're in the gang. So we're going to recruit a few Deer Tribe Shamans, uh, we're going to recruit our Smiths again, and we're going to recruit our men again. Right, so where do we leave that commander? There's Wittlick. Uh, he's going to pick up... No, he's not going to pick up any men. He can pick them back up on the way back. Uh, Gunther and co. are going to move down. Oh, look at that massive army. Massive army of massive amounts of wizards. I mean, put it this way. We've been doing so well with 80 troops and 2 priests and 2 smiths. We've got double the priests, double the smiths, and double the men. Over double the men. So we are going to do fantastically in the future, I think. We're going to beat back these undead and they won't know what fucking hit them. 
Those 140 troops are worrying me, but I think we have got the manpower to stop them. Uh, so now we're going to give out our lanterns again. So Ulrich, yeah, he's not horror marked yet. But, oh, that 32, that 32 is wonderful. So we're going to actually give it to uh, Ice Doof. You're going to get a lightless lantern. Congratulations, 31. Gontran, you're going to get a owl quill. Congratulations. Hope everybody's having a lovely time. Do we need to keep making these dwarven hammers? Kind of tempted to say we don't anymore. Is there anything else you could make? You could make helmets of heroes. Yes, you're going to do that instead. Because it costs one earth gem and one fire gem with him. So yeah, you're just going to make fi uh, that helmet from now on. Because this way, you know, everybody's having a grand time together and... Every, we get more inspirational troops so people can survive for longer. We're getting more bags of wine out. We're going to put them all onto... Actually, no, we shouldn't put them all onto the priests there. We're going to put some in, on the priests here. Yes. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so now we'll definitely have enough supplies here with all these troops. What we should do. We want as many... Uh, as many bags of endless wine as we can get. Pretty much we want one for every single priest. We're going to have all those shamans over there. Uh, search for nature sites. Maybe they'll find them. Maybe they won't. Who knows? We didn't, we didn't even search there. Okay, yeah, so we're going to search where they're actually recruited from as well. Because maybe we'll find a nature site there. Um, and I think we can end the turn. These are very... Uh, not much combat going on because I don't want to lose more men. How is Hildegard loot? Holy shit. Hildegard. What's happened to all your troops? They must have all been diseased. Yeah, everybody's got like afflictions and... Horrible, all of our troops have just died. Okay, so we're gonna probably need you to... Pick up some troops from somewhere else. How many troops do we have here? 33. It's better than nothing. Hildegard, on you go. You go pick up some more troops. Nobody should be able to attack us. There's a lot of undead troops there. And a lot of undead troops here. But we should be okay. We should be okay. I'm feeling good. We're going to need to build a lab here in uh, Anasia at some point. Why are our troops not preaching? They should all. We should just have them preaching wherever they are. Wherever they're just standing still and they're not on a fort. All of our priests should just be preaching. Just to make sure that we keep this death out of our dominion. And weaken the dominion of, uh, of Ermor as well. The, the less strong their dominion is. Or the weaker, I should say. <laughs> the weaker their dominion is, the better it is for us. Pretty much. Okay, so yeah, we got a few, few people there. How many priests do we have? We have a lot of priests. I'm gonna send them all forward. Like they're not doing too much with research, but I want them on the front lines. I want them with this. This is our second big army with Lars. Lars and Co is gonna be our second big army. They're gonna have a lot of priest support behind them, backing them up. Uh, just to make sure his troops are buffed up as fuck, and he's going to be the one leading the charge on the the western side. So this fall, so those priests can go there. Then we'll move over here. Uh, we can hopefully pick up a few more bags of endless summer wine. Endless summer wine isn't that TV show? La no, last of the summer wine. That's it. Well, we don't want the last of the summer wine. We want all of the summer wine, literally all of it. So yep, yeah, we're going to end this turn here. AI's thinking. Still no battles. So Augury has been cast. Uh, two or well, One magic site in uh, Kifia. It's another fire gem. We're getting a lot of fire gems. 16 per month. That is a lot. That is a lot of fire gems. Holy shit. But you know what? We're going to have to keep making these gate cleavers. We're going to pick up uh, one on our smiths. Uh, Rothari. You are the proud owner of a new gate cleaver. So now he's got a siege bonus of 50, which is more than what even our sappers are. Remember those commanders I was on about before? 50 per person, and they can cast spells, and they can be useful. Like, it's, it's a no-brainer. It really isn't. Okay, so we're actually going to have all of our melee troops all in one large line. Uh, Hildegard's going to go back over there and defend her troops. I'm going to march forward with Gunther. Troops still can't cross over here. It's not cold enough on our side yet. 
but it's going to be there. It's going to be cold enough soon, so we're going to move our troops forward as well. Uh, Stegabar isn't uh, isn't good enough to find anything. So let's see. Look, uh, we searched for magical sites, but none were found. Unexpected event, bad harvest, worldwide event. The throne of night has been invoked. Ever since the day has grown dimmer, now night has overtaken day, and all is darkness. Fuck. Okay. That's not good. That is really not good. That is super duper not good. Okay. There's gotta be something we can find that casts some sort of like a solar flare or something. Like anything to disenchant the night. Light of the Northern Star. Ah, oh, God, and it doesn't count as a global enchantment, does it? No, it's just the power of the Throne of Night. So all of our troops are going to be fighting in darkness now. Oh, God, this is not what we wanted at all. This is not what we wanted. Because the undead are going to be fine, but our troops are going to be at a massive disadvantage. We need Iron Angels up as fast as we can get. As fast as we can get Iron Angels up, we need them. See, our, re our research is actually spiking incredibly well. How's the treasury doing? Yep, fine. So we're gonna quickly give that out. Henrik, you are now the lucky owner of a lightless lantern and a feather. Lucky old you. Don't get horror marked. Uh, okay, so Berthold is the one with all the troops, so he's gonna grab a helmet. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this guy here. No, not him. Shia. We're going to give you a Thistle Mace, and then every month you're going to cast Horror Specs. There we go. Uh, Arnold and Co, you're just going to move back. You've already searched there, you couldn't find anything, it's not your fault. Uh, and the, We're going to have very bad researchers out of them, but you know what, they're better than nothing. We're going to keep recruiting those, uh, those guys until we can eventually find a... Oh lovely, we got our castle up. Well, we're going to keep recruiting them until we can find one with an earth power as well, so you can create summer swords with a thistle mace. So we are going to need another thistle mace uh, from the Forge of Empires, but he's too busy making his gate cleavers at the moment. Uh, we'll have these troops move to Phrygia. No, I think actually... Do we have another bag of endless summer wine? Just to give to these guys. There we go. So yeah, all of those priests have bags of summer wine, so that's 200 supplies that they're generating just by themselves. So that's enough to cover that army. Uh, no summer swords either, but um, we should be fine. These places are making enough supplies kind of by themselves. They've got a lot of death there, which I'm not too happy about. Uh, how? What year is it? Late fall. Still not cold enough. These guys are moving forward. Oh yeah, of course, we had uh, Wittelik coming to pick, over, pick up more troops, didn't we? And are we making people here? We are. Not too many. I think we might have lowered our income just because of that Throne of Night. Or at least our resources and stuff. Like, something like that. It wouldn't surprise me, put it that way. Uh, can we make a Master Smith here? Yes, we can. Okay, so we're going to start creating some more Master Smiths just so we can keep researching. And yeah, I think this is going to be the end of this turn. Again, nothing. Oh, a battle's happening. A worldwide event has occurred. Yep, okay, yeah, we know. Everything's night. We found a new province, Enchant Field in Aeste. Well, that's quite nice. So now we're getting three nature gems per month, which is what we're using on, uh, on these bags of wine. So, it's not particularly great. But, you know, better than nothing. Ah, dear. Ne neither of these guys either have been... Uh, with Earth Magic. But you know what? We're going to have a first combat in a long time. Lars and co. are going to move forward. They don't have any bags of summer wine. Endless bag of wine. I'm sorry I keep calling it that. It's just something that's kind of like engraved in my head. I used to watch Dave a lot when I was younger for Top Gear and stuff like that. So it's just kind of engraved in my head that that's what it's called. It's quite funny, actually. I'm quite. I'm finding it quite amusing that I keep calling it that. 
Um, so how do we want to do this? Again, there's a lot of troops there, and we are fighting in darkness. There's no... Putzricker, the Dark Dusk Elder, is there. Uh, is there any evocation that we can do to, like, uh, Breath of the Dragon? No. Stellar Cascades, Storm, Falling Fires, Flame Eruption, Firestorm, Pillar of Fire, Second Sun. We might need to cast that, to be honest. I mean, it's not particularly great, because it makes everything hotter and dry. Oh, if we could, uh, what is it? It's like, uh, sea to ice, or something like that. Cleansing water, falling frost, hurricane, acid rain, no, it's not here. It must be under enchantment. I can't remember how much it costs. Grip of Winter, Frost Dome, Ghost Ship Armada, Mr. Deception, Wrath of the Sea. Is it? I thought it was there. Maybe it's Thaumaturgy. Curse of the Desert, Tempering the Will, Vengeful Water, Lure of the Deep. No, what is it? Alteration? Encase in Ice. That's looking better. That's kind of like what we want. Frozen Heart. Sea of Ice. There it is. So it costs... One, two... We need six water levels and that'll stop all travel between the seas. We could in the very late game work on that and I just can't think of a way to stop the uh, the throne of night. We're gonna have to send some men down there and hopefully take them out but it's gonna be difficult in total darkness. But you know what? That's what you gotta deal with sometimes, I'm afraid. Sorry, troops. You'll be alright. Uh, can we give... Lars. Yes, Lars. You are gonna have a helmet. You're gonna have a helmet as well, because you are marching with your troops forward into battle in the darkness. We want your troops to be as well equipped as they can to survive morale checks. Okay, so Witterick is picking up some more troops. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we could probably take with him a few of our mages. Yep, there we are. How many earth stones do we have? We have none left. So we'll just have Carloman and Istif just do the generic uh, priest malarkey. Lars can't find anything else. He's just going to research. Who should we give our stuff to? We're going to give a lightless lantern to you, I think. And there's an owl quill spare, so we'll give that to you. There we go. How much research are we making per turn now? 519. Remember the days where it used to be like 200 odd? We're making a lot more research now per turn. So yeah. I think we're going to call this Let's Play here. I'm going to need to do a lot of thinking about how I'm going to deal with this Throne of Night. So I'm sorry for ending it slightly before I maybe should. But, uh, oh god, 580 units. We're going to have to... Well, at least we're marching. That's the main thing. We're marching forward. We're going to take over the Earthshell Mountains. Uh, I kind of maybe want to back these troops out of the Underhome. But I'm not sure. We'll talk about that next episode. Uh, we're getting our bags of uh, endless wine up. There we go. Finally got the name right. Only took me like 17 tries. Um, so we're getting them up so our troops shouldn't suffer attrition. We've got gate cleavers coming out as well. I'm going to make sure that Forge of Empire is actually making one of them before I forget. And, uh, yeah, so, thank you everybody for watching. Please leave a like or subscribe if you've, uh, if you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, I've not enjoyed this episode because of that bloody throne of night. That's going to make my job a lot harder. But, uh, thank you all for your support. Uh, and as always, all hail the Forger of Empires, and goodbye.